All right then, gang. So I promise you, this is probably going to be the last time that you see this diagram right here. But I just wanted to show you that we have now created all of these components. We've created all of the navbar stuff at the top and each one of these pages, we've created a component for that and these nested components at the bottom. So around about now, we can start to make our application more dynamic and hook this up with Redux and Firebase. But before we do that, I want to do one or two more things just to bring our app up to speed and make it look a bit better. So first of all, these links in the top at the minute they all go to forward slash no matter which one we click and that's going to take us to the dashboard we want to update these with the actual links that's going to show the correct component so let's head on over to the nav bar first of all and you can see the only link we have here is the brand logo and that's this thing over here so if we click on that it currently goes to the dashboard forward slash and that's absolutely fine so signed in links new project now we want this to go to forward slash create to load in that create project component. Log out, we can leave that for now. We'll address this when we come to authentication. And this thing at the bottom where we show the initials, that's going to forward slash, which shows the dashboard. And I think that's fine. We'll leave that as is. Okay, so that's that done. Let's go to signed out links. And now we need to update this to sign up and update this to sign in and save that. So now if we check this out in a browser, these should all work. If we go to sign up, we get this component, login, new project. And if we click on either one of these, it goes back to the dashboard. So that's all done now. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do is a bit of the CSS. But before we do that, I want to show you this. Inside my public folder over here, I've created this image folder. And inside that, I've got this image over here. This will serve as the background to the application. Now, I've got this from the GitHub repository. So if you go to this branch, lesson 10 right here, and then go into Mario plan, then go into public, then go into image, then you're going to see this image right here. And you can download that from here. Just place it inside an image folder inside your public directory, then add in the image. OK, so what we're going to do is access that from our CSS so we can give this project a background. So let's close down the components for now and open up this index.css. So at the minute, very simple. Now, what I'd like to do, first of all, is apply some extra rules to the body type. So I'll come down here and we'll give this a background and this will be a URL. And remember, we want this thing inside the image folder. So this public directory, this is accessible to the public. So we can just say forward slash image and then forward slash Mario BG. So let's say that forward slash image forward slash Mario hyphen BG dot PNG. OK, now we don't want this to repeat over and over. So let's say no repeat like so. Oh, no repeat. And we also want the background size to be 100 percent. I'm going to say the background position will be at the bottom so that the image starts at the bottom and the background color is going to be 95E8F and then 3. And this is just a bluish color, which is the color of the sky in the image, just in case we need to add extra to the top because the image might not be big enough. OK. All right, then. So if we save that and just preview this at the minute in the browser, this is looking a bit better, right? Cool. Already this is looking better. So then the next thing I'd like to do is style up a little bit these forms because at the minute they look a mess, right? So you can see also on this page we have an issue. This starts right here. It should start at the bottom. So in actual fact, what we need to do as well is up here, we'll say HTML and the min height is going to be 100% of the screen. And then we also need to apply that to the body. We'll say min height is 100%. So now the body, the minimum height of the body is going to be 100% in height of the browser. So that looks a bit better. We still need to address this form over here. So let's say form and the padding will be 20 pixels and the margin hyphen top is going to be about 60 pixels just to push it down from the nav bar. Let's see what that looks like. OK, looking better. 
Now let's come down and say form and we want the button and also the form H5. And there we want the margin to be about 20 pixels, top and bottom, zero, left and right, just to give those some space as well. Okay, that is looking better. Now I wanna do one more set of rules, but I'm not gonna write all these out. Instead, I've just copied them from my repo and that is this stuff. Let me just paste that in here. And what I'm saying here is, okay, take every input field of type text, email, password, and the text area who is in focus. So when we've clicked inside it, and what we're doing is coloring this, this pink color, the same as the little badge up here, all right, and the button. So let's save that and see if this works. And now, if we check this out, we can see the border is this pink color rather than the green that we had before. Okay then, so that is looking good so far. I think the styling is up to scratch and the links are now working up here. So I think the next thing we can do is start to add Redux into the mix and work with a bit of dummy data before we eventually hook up Firebase to this application.